Hey guys, welcome back. I got another coding interview assignment for you. And this assignment is actually titled Reversing a String. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is talking about how to go about reversing a string, pretty much. So I'm actually going to be showing you guys two ways of reversing a string. And those two ways are reversing a string non-recursively and recursively. And for those of you who do not know what recursive or recursion is, um, I'm going to be explaining this on the next slide here. So as you can see here, we have some definitions of non-recursive and recursive. So non-recursion or non-recursive means that you're not invoking a method call upon itself. So what this basically means is that let's just say you're inside of a method. And inside of this method, you are not going to be calling the method that you are inside of. So you're not invoking a method call upon itself. This basically just means that you're coming up with your own logic in order to reach the desired goal of that application. Whereas recursive or recursion is the exact opposite. It means that you're actually invoking a method call upon itself. So, for example, if you're inside of a method and you call or invoke the method that you are inside of, that would be what recursion is. So, it's pretty straightforward. Um, if you have any questions about this, make sure to leave them in the comments below. But when I get to the coding part of this video, it should make a whole lot more sense. But until then, let's talk about the actual assignment. Now, the actual assignment is to actually write code that recursively and non-recursively reverses a string. So, just imagine that you have this string here. Hello. Okay. This is going to be taken in, going to be taken in by our method or our application. And basically, we want this result. We want this string to be returned in reverse order. Should be pretty simple. Um, so what I'm going to do now is actually go about walking you through the entire process. And as I said before, I'm going to be showing you how to reverse a string recursively and non-recursively. So let's get right to the code. All right, guys, as you can see here, I've already created myself a project. As you can see, I have this app.java class. I've already created my application object. And then here we have our main method. And what I'm going to be doing here is showing you how to reverse a string non-recursively. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to reverse a string recursively. Now, before I start, let me zoom this in for you guys. OK, so let's get right into it. The first thing that we're going to be doing is writing a method that reverses a string non-recursively. So let's do that right now. Public static string non-recursive reverse. All right. This is our method. And this method is actually going to take in a parameter. We're going to go string word. And as I said, I'm going to be showing you how to implement the functionality for reversing a string non-recursively. So the first thing that we want to do is actually create ourselves a string called reverse string. And this string is actually going to be the string that's going to be returned after we've completed the reversal. All right. And down here, we just want to return reverse string because this is a, this is the string that we're ultimately going to be returning and basically what I'm going to do now is right after I create this reverse string it's going to be an empty string I'm going to write myself a reverse for loop it's pretty similar to a general for loop but what we're doing is slightly different so we're not iterating through um, th through elements um, in a natural order. We're actually doing it in a reverse order. And I'm going to show you how to write that loop right now. So we're going to go for 
int i equals and then word dot length minus one i is greater than or equal to zero and then i minus minus Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually just explain what's going on in this loop. So in this loop, the first thing that we have is this i, and this i is actually starting at the end. This word.length minus one, we're starting at the end of the word, and we're pretty much just going to be working our way backwards. As you can see, i has to be greater than or equal to zero, and then i minus minus is here. So this loop is basically saying that we're going to be iterating through this particular word in reverse order. All right. So next thing we want to do is to actually go inside of the for loop and then write reverse string plus equals word dot char at position i. And this is pretty much it as far as the function goes. Now, in order to see our results, um, I'm gonna have to actually write me a system.out.print up here in this main method. But to just go over a little bit of what's going on it, in this non-recursive reverse method, as you can see here, I first start off with a reverse string, which is empty. And then what I'm doing is creating myself a for loop. And this for loop is going to iterate backwards through this word that we're passing in. After that, I'm concatenating this. I'm concatenating this to my reverse string, this reverse.char position i. I'm taking a character and then I'm concatenating it to this empty string upon each iteration. And once it reaches the end of the loop, it's simply going to return the reverse string after this reverse string has been properly populated with characters of this string in reverse order. All right, so let's go ahead and print this out, sys out, and then we're going to go none. Well, let's actually do this. Let's create ourselves a string first, string word equals hello and then none recursive reverse and then word and this is pretty much it as you can see we're simply just going to print out this method so this method is going to return a reverse string we're passing in a word which is hello and when we run the application we'll see what we get go down as you can see here in the console, we're getting the word hello in reverse order. O comes first, followed by the two L's, and then the E, and then the capital H. So this string is being printed out in reverse order. But remember that this is done non-recursively. So we're not invoking a method call upon itself. But now, that's what we're going to be doing in this next method that I'm going to put together right now. All right, so now we're going to be doing the same thing, but we're gonna be doing it recursively. So let's start off by creating a method, public static string recursive reverse. And this, is, this method is gonna be somewhat similar to the method that we just created. We're gonna take in a word, string word, and in order to do this recursively, the first thing that we need to do is have ourselves a base case. Now, a base case is basically something that always holds true. Basically, a conditional that always holds true, or a case that always holds true. So, the first thing you have to do when trying to figure out what a base case you need to write would be to look at this word and try to figure out what's something that's always going to be true when you pass in this word. So basically, the user has the ability to enter in whatever word that they want or whatever text that they want. So let's just say the user enters in 
a single letter. So if the user enters in a single letter, the length of the word is pretty much going to be one. So what we want to do is write a conditional statement that says if the word dot length is lesser than two, then I want to return the word because there's no way that you can reverse a single character. If the user simply enters in the letter A, there's no way to reverse that. So what's going to be printed out is that character. So we want to go if word dot length is lesser than two, then we simply want to return word. And that is our base case. It's something that is always going to hold true no matter what. And let me get a little bit more space. Okay. Now, what we want to do next is actually start the recursive call. So, what's going to happen is I want to return. And what I want to do now is to try to figure out what do I need to write in order to reverse the elements within this string. Okay, So in order to reverse the elements in this string, the first thing that should come to the top of your head is going to be grabbing the first element of the string. All right. So in order to do that, we would just go word.char at 0. Okay, so this will be the first letter of the string. So as you can see, if we were to pass in the word hello, word.char at, this would be equivalent to H. All right, so what we want to do is append this H to the end of the new word that we're going to be creating. So what we need to do after this, or actually before this, is to go word.substring. Okay. So let's just say, okay, if I go word.substring, what am I going to get here? Now, for those of you who don't know what substring is or this function is, it basically is going to take the word at this position. So whatever position that the word is in, it's going to print out that character of the word as well as all the characters after this particular index of the word. And for those of you who just want to see what substring is and what it looks like, I'm going to show you an example of this right now so that we make sure everything that you see here is that you're learning here is clear. So we just want to go sys out and let's just say hello dot sub substring one. Let's see what we get. Okay, go up here, we run this, you go down to the console, we, we're going to get E-L-L-O. All right, so E-L-L-O, and then over here, we're going to get H. All right, so as you can see, we're pretty much just returning E-L-L-O, and then we're getting H. Now, what we need to do is append the first character of this word repeatedly. So this recursive call, what we need to do is add some type of rep repetition or some type of iteration, just like we did up here in our non-recursive reverse with this loop. So in order to perform that iteration, what we need to do is actually invoke a method call upon itself. So we have a recursive reverse, and what we want to do is just call this method down here in this return. Recur, recursive reverse, all 
Okay. All right. So, oh, sorry about that. All right. So, what's happening here, when we call this recursive reverse, what's happening is that we're going to be grabbing the word dot substring at position one. Okay. And as you can see, the substring at position one on the next iteration is pretty much going to be it's pretty yeah so the first yeah the first iteration is you're gonna get an H and then we're gonna get an ELLO but we're passing this into this recursive reverse alright and what's gonna happen is that on the next iteration the word dot character at position 0 which is going to be E is going to be placed here next Okay, what's well, going to be placed here since we're concatenating that? And it's basically going to be removed from here. And then on the next iteration or the next recursive call, we're going to get L here. And L is going to be removed from here. And then after that, we get another L. Because that will currently be the word dot chart at position zero. And this is going to be removed from here. And then afterwards, we're going to get O. And then this O is going to be removed. And that's pretty much going to be it. You know, so that's how you would go about writing a function that reverses a string recursively. So, in order to see this in action, let's go up to the top and actually call this method recursive reverse. Copy. Now, what we want to do is actually remove all this and do this. Okay. As you can see here, we're passing in the word hello. We're passing it into this recursive reverse in which we're invoking the method call upon itself. And we simply just want to run the application, see what we get. As you can see here, we get hello in reverse order. O is first, followed by the two L's, and then the E, and then the capital H. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you guys have any questions about recursion or this recursive reverse function, make sure to let me know in the comments below, and I'll make sure to respond to your comments as soon as possible. And that's pretty much it. You know, I showed you pretty much how to reverse a string non-recursively and recursively. So hopefully you guys learned something here. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you've learned something from here. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And see you in the next one.